Did you know Wreck-It Ralph has 188 unique individual characters, more than any other Disney movie in history? Normal Disney movies only have between about 40 and 60. For the first two months of story development on the film, Fix-It Felix Jr., played by Jack McBriar, was the main character, but the director soon realized his nemesis Ralph had a better story. Very early on in development, they considered making Ralph look like an 8-bit character the whole time, but it was deemed he wouldn't be lovable enough. The design of Ralph began as an animal dressed as a bum, evolved into a big white gorilla, and only became human about six iterations in. Before Wreck-It Ralph, Disney had unsuccessfully been developing two video game films, entitled High Score and Joe Jump. Both were ignored. The world inside the game was given the name Niceland, and its inhabitants are referred to as the Nicelanders. For the animators, the Nicelanders were the hardest thing to animate in the film because they don't have a fluid motion. They have very jittery and blocky 8-bit fashion movements. The first-person shooter game in Wreck-It Ralph, Hero's Duty, was influenced by a ton of modern video games, most notably Halo, Call of Duty, and the Gears of War series. Besides playing a lot of video games for research, the animators of the movie went to a San Diego Chargers game to see how big, heavy men move around and interact. Over half the film takes place in a racing game called Sugar Rush, simply because Vanellope Von Schweetz can't leave. She's a glitch in that game and is unable to travel around like Ralph. Besides entering Sugar Rush and Hero's Duty, Ralph was going to go into a game called Extreme Easy Living 2, basically Grand Theft Auto meets The Sims. It was cut early on, but could resurface in a possible sequel. There were many cameo appearances by other video game characters in the movie, some of which were Bowser from Super Mario Bros., Sonic the Hedgehog from Sonic the Hedgehog, Dr. Eggman from Sonic the Hedgehog, and Zangief from Street Fighter.